Okay, well, there's my dad, Bernie, my mom, Bev, my oldest brother, Jared, my second oldest brother, Pierce, my older sister, Samara, and myself. We love to eat together, I think. That's a big one. We love to, we do a lot of board games, a lot of activities that involve uh, games. What do we like to do? We really just like to hang out with each other, yeah. I always remember uh, when I was younger, I always remember around 6 or 6.30 waiting for my dad to get home from the office and always waiting to have dinner with each other and it was always really nice. My favorite memory with my family would be going up to the cottage. We usually go a couple times a year, sometimes in the summer and also in the winter. The strongest memories are like bigger family events, not just like my immediate family, but our extended family. I feel pretty lucky to have uh, some pretty great brothers and sisters as well as some pretty fantastic parents. We had a really idyllic childhood in London. My parents were Holocaust survivors from Poland. My father started out peddling fruit, and then eventually he opened his own grocery store um, on William Street in South London, and our house was right beside that grocery store. My mother, she worked in the grocery store all day, and she would go out in the evening to collect rents. So she had two jobs. And often, she had to take some of us or one of us with her. So one day, she took my brother, and he was four or five years old. And she went in to collect the rent, and he knew the drill. He wasn't supposed to leave the car. He got fed up, and he found his way home. People were out looking for him, but he, it just shows how very independent he was from a young age. We had an ongoing project in the backyard. Uh, we had a, like a tree house that we, every year we scrounged some wood or some lumber from somewhere and, and added on to it and just like spent hours, hours outside. <laughs> so that was probably his, uh, his first venture into real estate. My memory of Bernie from his mid-teenage years, like 16, 17, 18, at that time, he, every summer he worked full-time in our family business and his job was doing all the landscaping. He drove around with trailers and friends worked with them and I just remember thinking he loves this so much and this was really his first serious foray into becoming involved with our family business and the real estate business and he really learned it from the ground up. He did the landscaping. Bernie's a great dad, uh, tremendously calm, very calm. So when I would get a little squirrely or a lot squirrely, uh, he would just kind of walk in or I could just ask him, whether quietly or in a fit of frenzy, and he just had this sense of calm about him. The memories that stick out to me, I think, with my dad are those when he was teaching me something. So whether it be, you know, how to ride a bike, or skiing, or water skiing, or even how to drive. He found out there was a conference happening in London that was centered around making games and he got him and myself passes to the conference. He came with me and introduced me to different people there and uh, led me around the conference and again I'm kind of shy so it was good to have him around to help me talk to people and meet different people and help me figure out what I wanted to do. For those who haven't met my dad before or who have, I think that they would say that he's very kind and very caring. He definitely cares a lot about my family and his friends. As well, he's very passionate and driven. He's involved in so many different things and he does very well at whatever he does. You know, from my understanding of people that he's worked with, really knew how to get a great deal done every time, <laughs> somehow. I actually met Bernie through Sheldon. Um, I've known Bernie uh, through uh, business circles uh, uh, over the years. But uh, Sheldon, Bernie, and myself, and a bunch of other uh, fellows from London have gone away on ski trips together. Pete is definitely the best skier. Bernie was a sportsman. Yeah, Bernie really liked skiing and, and uh, you know, bike riding, fishing. Did you cycle with him? No, not me. There was a group of people, Tom Faulkner and Alan Mankus, and a few others who went out biking every Sunday morning. And it was always focused on Bernie. We had a lot of fun together. We went out every Sunday. We had adventures ranging from uh, discussions to injuries to uh, going to his cottage. More than anything, I think that he uh, enjoyed being with the guys. My father actually, when he got sick, it was an injury he, he had on the construction site. He had a fall. He didn't understand that he damaged his kidney. It hemorrhaged, and that led to a long recovery. And Bernie did everything he could to make sure his father stayed well. Uh, to the point of even becoming a, you know, sort of an ad hoc do-it-yourself for respiratory technologist 
for Bernie's father so he could stay at home. I just, you know, they weren't going to take no for an answer when the doctor said, you know, his life is over. And both his mother and he just, you know, rolled up their sleeves and said, we will do whatever it takes and, you know, keep him alive. So at 23, he was obliged to step into my father's footsteps at, and build this project. My brother would come and consult with my dad every day about what was happening in the business, how, you know, whatever advice was, uh, that he could get from my dad. He never complained. He, he always had a positive attitude. He tried to learn what he could. I, I mean, Bernie was on the cutting edge of technology. I think one of the most important things about uh, Bernie's organization was the speed in which he grew his organization. He initially started in business with his father, with the Z Group, and then as Bernie took over, he built it quickly. There's innumerable buildings all over the city of London that he, he built. He was totally a natural developer. Uh, during the height of his business period, uh, he was by far the foremost um, developer in London. I was Bernie's personal assistant, executive assistant, for 18 years, eight months, and two weeks. He was a wonderful boss. Bernie would be away on holidays and you could tell he really really loved to come back to work because he would walk by my desk in the morning when he would see me after being away for a week and he'd say good morning Diana with the biggest grin on his face and I knew right then and there he was ready to get right into the paperwork. He was very loyal. Uh, Bernie would have the uh, people that he dealt with and he stuck with them. All his staff members had a great deal of respect for Bernie and uh, at any time that any of them needed any assistance or uh, advisory or anything of that nature, Bernie's door was always open and he was always wanting to sit down and help them out. Over the years, and it probably hasn't been very often, and I, maybe I didn't hear all the stories, but Bernie would come home and talk about a couple of people who he'd been able to help out and how they were able to get back on their feet and be contributing members of society. Well, every city needs someone like Bernie through his development with London, was very, very involved with uh, things like the hospital or, or, or a, a number of other uh, funds. The London Economic Development Corporation and um, the London Developers Institute and all those things that were very hands-on in terms of getting London growing and moving and shaking. Bernie's legacy would be his passion, his dedication to people within the City of London by building better communities. His love for the synagogue especially stands out for me because it was something that my father took very seriously. Bernie's not a, a large man in stature, but he's uh, definitely a large man in the community. His contribution to uh, the Jewish community, to London and to Israel is uh, very quite commendable. And uh, he, he is an example for other people to follow. I was not surprised that Bernie was chosen to be honored. He, uh, 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 of, of, of all people, deserves it the most. Not only was he a fantastic role model and parent and community leader, um, but he just you know, did so much for us in the community in a very selfless way. It's nice to see that so many people in the community are coming out to say, you've done so many great things, you deserve an honor, we want to come out and support you. And to me, that's just something that's really amazing, and I think he deserves it a lot. He's uh, been a pillar of the community, Jewish and, and non-Jewish, for many, many years. And I think a lot of people would like to see him and wish him well, and this is an excellent opportunity. Just like my father brought my family together and our extended family, so too is he bringing the community together and all his friends. And I feel very proud that we're honoring the commitment that he has to the community and the qualities that he has as a person because I think that those type of qualities often go unnoticed. So I'm very proud and very happy that we're honoring those today. We love you Bernie. Mazel tov.